they mostly have problems. And you know what? I used to be poor and I had a lot of problems. You got to start getting in some rooms, start meeting some people. Some people are asking about, oh my God, I don't want to wear all black. This seems like a cult. Well, guess what? It's a network and it's a brand. People want to belong to something. They want to network. We have a seven figure network in year three where you join with all the successful platinum students. That's a very powerful network. But the better the network guys, usually it costs something to get into the network. Why do the good networks cost money? Because they're good, right? You know, they usually have a lot of services and all sorts of things included for whatever you pay. It's very interesting actually. You can think about this. You can go to the broke gym in town with all the broke people for 400 bucks a year, or you can go to the richest gym in town for 400 bucks and with all the rich people. Which would you rather do? It's the same 400 bucks. You go hang out with the rich people in the sauna, or you go hang out with the broke people and hear them complain, still 400 bucks. Are you gonna switch your gym to the rich person gym now? Yeah. Write that down. Switch your gym to the rich person gym and stop going to the poor people gym. Okay. I think that's about hanging around with the people that you wanna hang with. What's the networking? Yeah, you need your network. Now guys, look at this. I just wanna give you one more example. This money clip, I got it when I was 23 years old. $350 money clip. Rhodium, lifetime warranty, covered in green abalone pearl. You do this, beautiful piece, monogrammed with my initials, and somebody said to me, well that's like an heirloom, which means you know your kids will inherit it one day. So I got this money clip. I actually own several of these now. I, I don't, you can only have one money clip in your pocket, but I got lots of them. Screen just went off there, Bryce. Now the money clip, guys, is $350 for this rhodium money clip. How many of us think that's outrageous for a little thing that clips your money and you could use a paper clip or you could use a binder clip for 15 cents? Who thinks this is outrageous? Hands up. Okay, well put the hands up, let's challenge you. I wanna challenge your mind, okay? Because here's the thing, guys, look at this. There's a trip, or there's a tip from Tony Robbins. And his mentor said to him, always keep 300 bucks cash in your pocket. Why do you wanna keep 300 bucks cash in your pocket? So when you reach in your pocket, you always got money, okay? Just psychologically, you have to always have money. So I keep three, four, 500, Warren Buffett says don't put more than 300 in your pocket because anything that you really could buy, you should have just 300 bucks only. Like he's like, anything more than that, you shouldn't be moving with cash anyways. But 300 bucks in your pocket, it's a magic number, so when you reach in there, you go, oh, I have money. Why is that important for your brain? It keeps your self-value high, okay? Now I put my money in a $350 money clip, and every time I touch it, it reminds me I got money. Now here's the thing guys, I've had this for 10 years now. So what's $350 divided by 10? That's not very expensive, is it? I still got it. I've had all the pearl replaced already for free. Because they have a warranty. 35 bucks a year for a beautiful piece like this, totally worth it. What if I keep it for 20 years? 17 bucks a year. 17.50, yeah, 17 who's counting? Yeah, round it up or down. Right? So the point is, guys, it's not what it costs, it's what the value is. Write that down. What's the value? The, the rich person gym is more valuable to you than the poor person gym. And you might say, Stefan, that's judgmental and that's mean and poor people are good people too. I'll differ with you. They probably aren't as good of people, that's why they're poor. They didn't develop themselves, they didn't go to the classes, they didn't go to the seminars. They mostly have problems. And you know what? I used to be poor and I had a lot of problems.